All aboard, Choo Choo. Thomas Tank Engine, big money these days, new series and uh, all very different from what we know, which is basically a grumpy Ringo star narrating over a load of rubbish model trains. Face facts. The stories are, of course, from the Reverend W. Audrey. So this may be the first time on Chinivision we've reviewed a game based on an IP uh, devised by a man of the cloth. Assuming, that is, unlike a former Amiga Games reviewer, that he didn't buy his title on the internet. Of course, being a kid series, who was going to buy the license to this alternative? Alternative would buy the rights to any kid series that they could then plunder for their own commercial benefit. And we're going to start off on the Spectrum. This version is coded by Enigma Variations, uh, famous for their... Um, they did Defenders of the Earth, didn't they? And including a Sam Coupe version. Look, there's Thomas Tank Engine. He's bouncing around. Graphic by Jeff Goatsey. Jeff Goatsey? Michael, the easy game or normal game? We're going to start off on the easy game. And we have to select a track. And you have to drive Thomas the Tank Engine to do a task from one end of the map to the other. So we're taking the letters to the city. It's the mail train. There I am. And uh, there's other trains on the tracks who will crash into you, and there's obstacles. Your train goes slow or fast, depending on how long you hold the joystick down for. And, um... Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, right, wag your finger at me. It wasn't me. You reversed into me. Right, so off we go. Time is denoted by the colour in the bottom there, where my little uh, depiction in the status bar of the Thomas Tank Engine is. And, and the sun, when that gets to the end and goes dark, that's t the game over. Oh, I've crashed again. What are all the names of these trains? Anyway, I can't remember. There's um, Percy, Edmund, Roderick, Karen, and, um, yeah. Right, so we're up there now. Now, if you're on hard and you go too fast over twisty sections, you will derail. What happened then? What? We all, we're all gonna watch, watch where I'm going. I didn't do anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amstrad version. Oh, it's gonna be a Spectrum port, isn't it? Although there's no 128K sound on the Spectrum, so at least the Amstrad has AY music. Right, we're taking the children to the beach. It's the Intercity 125 Express. So it's exactly the same as the Spectrum version with all the control difficulties, and presumably I'm going to be crashed into pretty sharpish. Now what you have to do is you... Halfway through the map, there will be a carriage you need to pick up that's parked in a sidings, full of children in a sidings, and then you continue to drive on to the end of the map. Why well, you don't just start off with the with the carriages or pick the carriages up first, then go to the station, I don't know, but they have abandoned a load of children in some sidings in a railway carriage. There it is. There's all the kids. Choo choo, right. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that whole uh, going diagonally thing's working really well there. You, when you go over the point, you press the direction you want to go. So if, the, if there's an option to go up, you just hold down up. Right, so how long now? And things will just crash into you off the edge of the screen. There we go, that's the task done incredibly difficult the game is of course aimed at kids c64 version so it's not going to be difficult even on hard mode well is it because that was the easy mode you saw there so oh, that's fast
So you can, you've only got these two speeds. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? There was nothing on that screen. Why has a rock suddenly appeared there? On the bottom rail? Where did Percy come from then? Where did he come from? What is going on here? How can I be careful when there are trains appearing out of nowhere? Again, Percy there. Right, that's an obstacle there. There's my... I've got the carriage. Right. What are we doing this time? Doesn't matter, does it? Where did he come? How can these trains appear from nowhere? This is feud on the C64 all over again. Where no one's given any thought to the fact stuff is just appearing from nowhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the... Where did, where did he go? One minute he's hurtling towards me, next minute he's gone! Because he changed screens! And just obstacles appearing and oh my goodness! The music is the same kind of dum 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 as the music on the alternative game Postman Pat. Over to the uh, ST. Oh may I? My blood pressure. Oh, this is really good music, isn't it? I mean, it's been programmed by someone who's clearly tone deaf as it hits all the wrong notes. This bit's okay. Where are we going? Let's take the children to the seaside again. Get ready. Gives you the anticipation of a game of Space Harrier with none of the excitement. All the scrolling's um, really jerky. So we've got two speeds again. Except on this version you hold down fire to go fast. There's a red flag that uh, flashes up to tell you there's an engine nearby, except the engine can be on the other tracks and nowhere near you. The only red flag you need for this game is there to be one in the shop warning you not to buy this tat. Right, go fast to get away from him. Of course, if I wasn't on easy mode, I would have crashed off the rails by now for going over speed. Why are the, ra why are the rails broken? It's to make me go slower, I suppose. Are the, are the water bits on the track where the toilets dump straight onto the tracks? Yes, that's what used to happen until fairly recently. The toilets on trains used to dump straight onto the track, which is why they always used to say, don't flush the toilet in the station. And it's nice to see the uh, the waste matter depicted on the track there, as you can see directly below me now. Why? What's the bell there? Oh, oh, been crashed into. Who is running this rail network? There's trains everywhere. Any child who has a train set, I had a train set, you know, you just, you have signals, you control things, you set the points. I shouldn't be allowed to just hurtle onto any set of rails under incoming traffic! Over to the Amiga. Let's take the children to the seaside again. We get some nice samples of Thomas. No, we do have some decent music though. Very scratchy. Yeah, it gets the notes right at the end of the tune, but it loops over again. There was an episode of Thomas the Tank Engine where one of the engines gets bricked up in a tunnel because he's too vain, because he's had new paintwork, and he doesn't want to take it in the rain. So the Fat Controller bricks him up in the tunnel. It is one of the most horrific things I ever saw as a child, and frankly, it's what I want to do to the people who made this rubbish! These 16-bit versions are coded by Peekster, or Peek Peekstar software, or Peekster software, I'm not sure which. I can't, I can't read my own handwriting. So, they should be at least different from the Enigma Variations versions, at least less bugged. And so far, I've not had phantom trains appearing. Right? If you touch a bell, you then go into a race with a helicopter, a bus, and another train. Now, the trick here is just to press auto-fire, and you will win, because what you have to do, instead of waggling the joystick, you have to press fire as fast as you can. 
and then you will come third because that's the best I can manage but if you press auto fire you will come first and it saves you having to press fire a lot now I know this is aimed at kids but there's a red flag was that for the obstacle on the road there Trinivision comes out every Thursday night and if you want to see more stuff at different times there is Chinivision 2 the channel's shoddy second channel where things are a bit more rough and ready and if you really like Chinivision well we also have a podcast link in the description below and if you really really like us there's a Patreon where for just a dollar a month or a pound a month you can come in and get previews and exclusive videos over to the PC version there is no ad lib support so I'm having to put a microphone on the PC speaker it is evident that the 486 PC I'm running on is slightly too fast for this so there are a few glitches but don't worry even though we're on the PC BP you're not going to be spared the awful awful music let's take them out to the next town the difficulty of the task seems to go uh, start off easy on the left and then on the far right that's the hardest but you can do nearly all of them on easy setting at first go right there's a helicopter we are racing he's incredibly slow you pick up extra points by picking up things like coal and stuff on the rails there's no fuel you're a steam train so you think you oh hang on all right I've got things are going on there you've got a steam train so you think you'd need to beat um uh, uh, kind of feed it with coal and water and stuff but no i think on this pc version you have to beat the hurry up thomas you have to beat the helicopter you're racing someone perhaps and when you crash which and it won't be your fault you always send back two screens or to the start why don't they have signal why doesn't this game have some kind of signaling there's signs by the side the road uh, the, the tracks to tell you things might be happening in certain places but you, you come up to bits like this where there's just engines maneuvering back and forth seemingly for no reason right we can get past there see what's he doing there oh he's gonna drive into me because apparently no train in this thing apart from yourself can take avoiding action back to the spectrum version hurry up thomas oh dear i derailed many people have died right so it's telling me to hurry up in the basic spectrum font and oh no you see now again i've crashed into someone and with no warning your Sinclair gave this game 32% and frankly I think Rich Pelly was generous. Your Commodore gave the C64 version 85%. Um, okay, it's 2 dollars it's for kids, but I don't expect... A game can be for kids, little kids, but it, won't, it doesn't necessarily have to be broken. Right, we're taking the logs to the sawmill. And this is the Amstrad. You can tell that because it's not got beeper music. Right, let's find which siding. There we go. There we go. That's where the logs have been abandoned. Doesn't look like a log wagon, but all the wagons in this look the same, even on the 16-bit versions, where an oil tanker just looks like a a normal carriage. Oh, someone's going to crash into me. Oh, for ugh. Careful, Thomas. Look where you're going. Back two screens. This game is less entertaining than Oh Dr. Beaching. Alright, so we're going to go back and we're going to do this. We're going to complete this on the Amstrad. We're going to do this run if it kills me. Right, no, no, I can't. Ah, oh, reverse back. Try and go over the points again. Trains shouldn't be able to just go where they want to go. They should, the points need to be set by someone, and then I. Just... <laughs> it's in the will to live. 
Why? I mean, how do, right now I need to reverse up there. I need to go up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, let's go up there. Up there, yay. Yeah, 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 you're right. Let's go. Yeah, anyway. Um, right, how far to the end of this run? No other trains to crash into me at the moment. I think we're getting away with this. With our delivery of logs. Oh, let's get 800 points. Our day has vastly improved by getting 800 points. Which way should we go? The way that's probably a dead end or this way? See, look, it was a dead end down the bottom. We're winning for a change. Oh, which way this time? Who knows? Well, that's the timber yard, so... Right, that, okay, that's where... Well done, Thomas, you've finished that task. Wow. Back to the 64. Hurry up, Thomas. Oh, there's a log on the road, but a trail, but you can push past it. Whoa! Care they can't spell careful. Whoa! Careful has one L. Right. Uh, again, Percy's a pit. Where, where did that come from? Oh, I go back and come back on again. The obstacle has changed and I can push past it. Game over. Game is over in so many different ways. You have run out of time, Thomas. If you don't try harder next time, then your job will be given to someone else. Give it to someone else! Right, there's an obstacle on the Spectrum version on the track there. It's trying to hurry me up, but that's the only way out of this. So if we go back... Right, okay, the obstacle is now moved so I can get past. That's ludicrous. Right, we can come down. Whoa, whoa, I can't go back. Uh, can I? Is it cleared? Oh, no. It's horrible. How can they... How can you go off the screen and come back and the obstacle has moved? Did no one test this game? I know it's for kids, but this isn't a kid's... It doesn't matter who's playing it when the game is... Basically broken. Back on the PC. We're going to the oil refinery and I'm wasting I'm racing the helicopter who has a a can full of oil. I mean what's the helicopter can't carry the same volume of oil as a train can, so this isn't a completely impractical race. Oh, 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 it's doing that. Stop! I should probably research the name of all the engines, but... I'm not Mr. PSB, so I don't care. Right. There is a sequel to the 16-bit version of it's Thomas the Tank Engine 2, so Alternative can rinse people again. And there's a simultaneous two-player mode. Yeah. Right, so are we on the fast line now? Is this the fast line? I'm not going to go fast. On all these versions, you have two speeds, with the fire button being held down on the 16-bit versions to make you go faster. Frankly, it's not worth it. Unless you need to get out the way sharpish, because if you're going fast, that does give you even less reaction time to a train hurtling towards you. Plus, you'll probably derail. Red flag there. The game on the 16 bits also comes with a memory game. So you get extra value for money. And you have to match the cards against the computer. You can't help but think the effort would have been better put into actually making the main part of the game slightly better. Back to the Amiga. And I've had to go back to the start. This was one of the more complex sets of tracks. So there's signals by the side of the track sometimes. Why can't they just tell me if I can go forward or not? Right, I thought he was going to hit me, but he didn't. And there's no kind of logic to where these other trains will go. 
So you, you know, you, you might be on a certain type of line and expect to find other trains. But I mean, who is running this rail network? Because it's insane. Southern Rail couldn't do a worse job than this. Well, how come he can go faster over the broken track than I can? Because I have to slow right down. Oh, this is tedious. And indeed, who is maintaining this track? I have broken rails. It's like... Where are we? North Korea? No, no, this is far too bleak for North Korea. Oh, that was a verse into me again. ST version. Oh, and that's um, uh, Gordon. Gordon has rear-ended me. And he's going to do it again. Oh, no, no. I thought he was going to do it again. Oh, yeah, how horrible is the scrolling on the ST when you come across the Amiga and PC? Oh, stop shouting at me. It's the fact controller got a beard in this version. Thomas the Tank Engine is a completely rubbish and cynical cash-in on a popular kids' TV franchise. And, oh, how many times you can say that about alternative games. All three 8-bit versions are fundamentally broken. You can leave the screen and come back on. The obstacles on the screen will have moved. There's no logic to how the engines are running. Goodness knows what's going on. They just randomly spawn all over the place. And it's purely designed to frustrate you from coders who simply do not care. The idea is you can just pump this rubbish out to little kids and, and it doesn't matter because it's got Thomas the Tank Engine on the front and as long as the code actually runs, doesn't matter. An alternative to this so many times, Count Duckula 2, an absolutely obscene, awful piece of code. This actually runs at a decent speed, I'll give it that, although the Amstrad version does chug a bit and is incredibly ugly, but it's just lazy and horrible and done without any care or attention to detail. The 16-bit versions, graphically, as a still screenshot, they look fine. It's only when you come to play them that the gameplay is, again, rubbish. It's not as horribly implemented as the 8-bit versions. There is more logic to where the other engines are going, and they don't just suddenly spawn out of nowhere when they weren't behind you before and so and so. But it's very little more fun than, than I had on, say, the C64 version. As I keep on saying, the game is for little kids. That's fine. A game can be simple. Postman Pat is a good example of an alternative game aimed at children. It's actually a good game, and the whole game world works. It's polished, it looks good, it sounds good, it's a worthy part of the Postman Patch franchise. The sequels, no, but the original game, yes. This is not a worthy part of the Thomas the Tank Engine franchise. It's just a cynical, cynical cash grab from a publisher that has learnt it can churn out any old rubbish as long as you've got a known face on the cover it will sell shame on you alternative and shame on you enigma variations and to a lesser extent peak star software absolute dross that i want to see bricked up in a railway tunnel <laughs>